Buongiorno a tutti. Another beautiful day here in uh, La Spezia city. And today, and today Thomas is coming over. We're gonna hit up one of the five Cinque Terre towns. Yesterday we had a game. Today we have day off. So we're gonna utilize this day to go and enjoy this beautiful town. This video is gonna be going back and forth. Kind of like this. Because I want to talk about magnetism and how you can practice this so you can live a more happier and a fulfilling life. Okay, so a couple of days ago, Thomas posted a post on Instagram. It's in Lithuanian, but the post really like resonated with me and I thought what he said was like really profound. Can you share with us, um, can you share with us what you said? Yeah, you know, sometimes in life we overthink about material things and we miss the small things who are more important, you know, uh, those uh, small breaks, uh, coffee breaks with friends, you know, hugs with family members and so on. So, you know, guys, you have to take care of it. You have to focus on it and life will be better. That's beautiful, man. It's like, it's the little things. It's the little things in life. Photo shoot is done. Magnetic power is one of the most important principles to understand any human being. To make it simple, what it really means is it's like vibrations, it's the frequencies. So, you know, for example, when you start talking to a person and it's like, we use the term, I'm not vibing with him or her, or you walk into the room and you sense the vibe, that's the magnetic power and we all carry it, we all have it. What do you think about Rio Maggiore? So far it's amazing, dude. I can't wait to visit the main town. You know what the crazy thing is? Is that people actually live. People actually live here. Like they live with this kind of view. Real quick, so imagine this is your house. Like this is your, your front door to your house. And then as soon as you walk out, take the stairs. I remember I was in uh, Lithuania. This was my third season, I think. I've told I've told the story before, but I just got cut from the first league team. I ended up going to a really bad team in the second league in Lithuania. The winters are brutal. Like I was mentally like in a really bad situation, and then I came across the topic, like learning about the whole vibrations and frequencies and um, and magnetism. And every night before I went to bed, I started imagining where I would want to play. So for like, I don't know, maybe like two months, like I always imagined playing somewhere where it's warm, where the weather is beautiful, the city is amazing, somewhere by the water, maybe like overlooking the sea. Like this was my mental image and like I'd, I'd practice this every time before I go to sleep. And next thing you know, three months later, I ended up signing in Salerno. Of course, after that, I went to play in France for a little bit, but then again, I got the opportunity to come back here to Italy, and again, it was a decision between a team in Lithuania or a team here, and I remember Maori, who was the president of our team, he called me, he told me about the team, he told me about the city, and honestly, it, it was a pretty easy decision. When I got here, it was just like, it's like in those moments when you realize like, holy cow, that stuff that people talk about, meaning manifestation, it's like, it's, I was, I was in shock. Even just like thinking about it right now, it's just like, it's, it's kind of wild 
to think about where I was at mentally, how I was able to like overcome that through internal work and like persistence and dedication in like where I'm at now. It's just, it's, it's wild, but that's, that's the thing. You know, it's like going to a gym. In order to change your physical body, you have to be persistent. You have to go in day in and day out. And it's hard, it's hard. It's the same thing mentally, like day in and day out when it comes to meditations, when it comes to visualizations, when it comes to manifestations, like you have to do this day in and day out and you will be surprised where it can take you. That's like the hardest thing when it comes to manifestations. Like I've read Joseph Murphy book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. It's like an incredible book. And it's, it's simple but hard at the same time because like thinking of your desired outcome, right? Is just like all you have to do is just to think of what you want and then it'll manifest, and it'll come true. Like it's true but it's not. The reason it doesn't work for a lot of people is because nobody sticks to constantly thinking about whatever it is that they desire. Like nobody constantly commits to keep projecting that magnetic field of whatever that they want like you'll think about it but then you know we we have so much of like stimulations in our world you know maybe it's family maybe it's your job maybe it's you're not making enough money maybe it's this maybe it's that and you always have something that grabs your attention which doesn't allow you to stay on that thing that you want it doesn't like your thought like that's if it makes sense like it takes a lot of effort to consciously make time to create that inner feeling of what you want to see that vision and you have to like practice it to keep doing it like going to the gym and constantly day in and day out week in and week out month in and month out year in and year out you have to do it's the same thing with manifestation and that's something that they don't really they don't emphasize enough of that statement what are your thoughts on Cinque Terre Rio Maggiore uh, so far we visited two of them uh, which one was the first one Vernazza Vernazza uh, I like this one more I think because of the seaside and all the waves and so on. yeah life in La Spezia is pretty good Life in La Spezia is pretty good. It takes effort, especially when things aren't going right. It takes a lot of effort to really appreciate the little things. I've experienced that it's hard, but that's like in those moments when things are tough, it's the best way to change those vibrations. about that. Last time I didn't say nothing either. My bad. <laughs> Last time he surprised me with that stuff. <laughs> 